Hey, Holly, thanks a lot. <laughs> No. Want me to help and keep an eye out, Chuck? Mom! I can do it by myself. And I'm not Chuck right now. I'm Zoom Zoomerton, special agent from the Rocket Fast Spy Agency. Oh, sorry, honey. I mean, Zoom. No bad guys here. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I mean, helpful citizen. Careful citizen. Zoom Zoomerton goes. Action follow. We're evil bad guys, and we know you're here. Did you find him, Agent Rowdy? No, Agent Boomer. But look at this great banana peel. <laughs> Ew. That's a closer look than I wanted, Agent Rowdy. You guys are a lot better at finding junk than finding Zoom Zoomerton. Let's get him! <laughs> Wee! Zoom Zoomerton loves the feeling of wind in his grip. Oh. You'll never get away, Zoom! <laughs> I shouldn't have loaded up that banana peel. You're getting thirsty on the road. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of other trucks to see to. Sure, sure. Ah. Sorry, mister. That's okay, little guy. A mini wheeler like you can't hurt a big old guy like me. Why, well, I've hauled some of the biggest loads you ever saw. Up snowy mountains. Down rainy valleys, Whoa. across the dusty plains. Whoa. I even... Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Great day for a drive, huh? <laughs> wow, I can't wait to haul a load like that. There's nothing getting in my way. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time before you're ready for that kind of work, little guy. Son, I've got to get out to the parts yard to grab some steel beams. Semi Steve needs to be loaded up for a run. Oh, sure is busy around here today. I'll do it, Dad. I'll go get those beams and bring them back here to the diner. Uh, I don't know, Chuck. Rowdy and I saw those beams out in the parts yard. They look really heavy. And you know Semi Steve, Chuck. He's very serious about his schedule. I can do it. I promise. Like my older brother, Rally. The, the world's world famous monster racing truck. truck. Yeah, like he always says. Over, around, and through. Trucks go and see and do. Can we help carry the load, Chuck? No, I'm going to do this by myself. Chuck, this is very important. Are you sure you can have those beams back here on time? I can do it. I'll be right back with a heavy load. Sure, you can do this alone? Of course I am. Just let me do some warm-up exercises. One, two, one, two, one, two. Chuck, it's too heavy. You better stop. No, I can do it. Oh. Thanks, Boomer. I'm gonna have to think of a different way to do this. You better do it fast, Chuck. That semi is waiting for you. I know you're in a hurry, Semi Steve. I'm sure Chuck will be back any minute. Hmm. Are you still thinking, Chuck? Want me to go get you some garbage? What? Always makes me feel better. Thanks for wanting to help, Rowdy, but... I have an idea. Even if you guys just load the beams onto me, I'd still be the one doing the hauling, like I said I would. Sounds like a plan. That's all the beams, Chuck. Good teamwork, guys. Thanks. I can 
barely feel them. It's going to be easy to haul these back to the diner all by myself. I'll see you there. <gasps> the beams made you so heavy, you've sunk into the ground. Now what, Chuck? Semi speed must be about ready to leave. You want those beams? Well, um, wait, I think I just heard Chuck's horn. Almost there, Dad. Yep, that's him. Just give him another minute. <laughs> Thanks for helping out, Boomer. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ugh. You mean, now you can start getting somewhere. And that's right. And I'm gonna get these beams to the diner in time, all by myself. Just like I promised. Um, Chuck, you're not getting any closer to the diner. Uh, okay, okay. Watch this. <laughs> now watch how fast I'm gonna go, guys. Last one to the diner is a lemon. I'm no lemon. Me neither. Chuck? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do anything. Power and pickups. I've got it. I know what's been stopping me from getting this job done. The do-it-myself part. And I know just what we need to do. Am I Steve? Here's the beams for you. Rowdy and I will load you up, Mr. Steve. Mr. Semi. Um, Mr. Steve I. Thanks, Boomer. Thanks, Rowdy. Couldn't have done it without you. Bumpers up. Friends for the long haul. Dad, I'm sorry it took me so long. That's okay, Chuck. You made it in time and kept your promise. I'm proud of you. Thanks, but I almost didn't make it. And I didn't really do it all by myself, like I said I would. That's nothing to be ashamed of, Chuck. Everyone needs help once in a while. Sharing the load makes the work go faster, and it's more fun, too. Knowing you, I bet it was your idea to make that platform. <laughs> Bye, Semi-Steve! Bye, Semi-Steve! I saw you bring in that load, little guy. I didn't think you had it in you. Thanks! Once you grow into those wheels of yours, I bet you're gonna be bigger, stronger, and smarter than any dump truck out there. Wow! <laughs> Sorry 
about that, sir. Hope I didn't give you any scratches or dings or... Elmer? Hi there, Porter. You don't look so good. Yeah, I know. Porter, have you seen the... Oh, oh I'm terribly... Uh, Holly, you remember Elmer? Sure. It's just I don't remember you being so... so... Weak and rusty? Yeah, I know. Catch me, police car! That's what you think, getaway car! <laughs> uh, Elmer, this is our son Chuck and his friends Soku, Handy, and Digger. Porter, I didn't know you and Holly had another boy in the family. Well, it's been a while since you've been here. Chuck, Elmer was our truck stop's very first customer. Whoa! What was it like in the old days, Mr. Elmer? See, did they have, like, wheels back then? <laughs> sure they did, Tinker. My great-great-great-grandfather invented the wheel. Before that, everyone used clumps of dirt. How did anyone get anywhere? Very slowly. So, Mr. Elmer, the old days? The old days go back before your parents ever opened this truck stop, Chuck. Ah, those were good times. <laughs> yes, those were good times. I just wish that when I wasn't working, I hadn't just been lazy and sat around. That's how I wound up so rusty and slow with pipes so clogged I can barely move. And a truck's no good if he can't even move. That's why I came to see you, Holly. Sure, Elmer. Come with me to the repair bay and we'll see what we can do. If you don't want to end up like me, take care of yourselves now, boys. I sure wish I had, but I was your age. Poor Elmer. <laughs> Chuck, let's get back to our game, amigo. Huh? Oh, oh okay. Okay, Chuck, this is the part of the game where we police cars ask the getaway car questions about where you hid the loot. Guys, I don't want to play games. What? What? I think we should exercise. But Chuck, if you think about it, with all the running and jumping we do, our games are... We don't want to get slow and weak and rusty with clogged pipes when we get older. We should spend all our time getting in the best shape we can. That sounds bueno. Let's do it. Does this mean getting dirty? It means we need to think of some exercises. We have to get stronger. And there's how we're going to start. Worse than bloody, dirty. One, one, boy, I feel super strong now. One, one, stop sign. I'm sweating wiper fluid. I smell like old carburetors, and I'm not having fun. I'm done with this exercise. Yeah, maybe we should do something else for a while, Chuck. Good idea. Let's find a different exercise. That's not my idea of finding something different to do. I'll just watch. Well, we'll keep going. We feel better already. Right, guys? Yeah! Yeah! That's the spirit. Now I've got the perfect idea for our next exercise. Whoa. Boy, am I glad I decided not to do any more of Chuck's exercises. Gotta get to the... Top. Uh, Vamanos, Digger! Gotta keep up with Chuck. No hands allowed, huh? Come on, Handy. You can do it. This exercise really makes your engine hum. Doesn't it? And I guess I'll see you at the bottom of the hill.
exercise? Maybe there's something flatter we could do? Hmm. I've got a perfect idea for how we can get some more exercise. Now this is more like it. I feel faster than ever. Yeah, exercise is amazing. When we get to be Mr. Elmer's age, we're going to be in great shape. Hey, Chuck, don't you want to take a break and go back to our game for a while? No way! I'm in a groove now. I'm going to keep moving, moving, moving. Staying in shape is what I'm looking to do. I want to feel great. out there racing with them, Soku? I wish we were playing police cars and getaway cars again. Come on, Digger. We've got a bunch of laps to go. <laughs> Can't run anymore right now. <gasps> well, I'm feeling better every second. I'm never going to stop. Like my big brother, Ralph. World famous racing truck always said, over, around, and through. So to go and see and do. And I'm gonna go, go, go! Yippee! Are we done exercising, Chuck? Can we do something else now? Sure, but only for a little bit. You guys really should exercise more. I feel fantastic. Well, getaway car. You won't feel so fantastic once we police cars catch you. And the way I'm revving right now, you'll never catch me. Caught you. That was easy. What's the matter, Chuck? Nothing. Just let me try again. I don't know what it is. Suddenly, I'm really tired. Maybe you exercise too much, Chuck. Maybe. I'm sorry, guys. I can't play anymore today. I never thought that would happen. Ooh, I think I better just turn around and go home. <sighs> Could uh, one of you guys maybe help turn me around? Well, Elmer, now that we got rid of all that gunk that built up while you've been sitting around and replaced your rusty parts, you should feel a little better. Thanks, Holly, I do. And I'm gonna stay feeling better by fueling up smarter and getting more exercise, like we talked about. Maybe you shouldn't get too much, Mr. Elmer. You could wind up like Chuck. Uh-huh. Chuck, what happened, son? I was out exercising. I just didn't want to end up... <laughs> like me? Chuck, you and I both learned something important today. Too much of anything isn't good for you, whether it's sitting around <sighs> or exercising. Your body needs both rest and exercise, honey, but it needs a balance between them. And you get plenty of exercise running around with your pals playing your games. You're right, Mom. And it's more fun than the exercises I was doing. From now on, I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, where's Chuck? I'm ready to play. Hi, guys. I'm really sore today. Must have been all that exercise yesterday. Then it's gonna be easy for us to catch you today, Mr. Getaway Car. Yeah, unless you're too tired to play. I'm never gonna be too tired to play ever again. Red Hot Turbo Chargers, I feel great. Let's burn rock!
like we're almost done. You boys have been terrific helping me fix this engine. Thanks for letting us help, Mom. A good fixer-upper can always use a couple extra tires, honey. Okay, it's time to put this engine back, and I'm going to use my brand new winch to do it. Here it comes. I feel fantastic, Holly. Well, I couldn't have done it without my assistance. Thanks, boys. You're welcome. No problem. Sure. It was fun. Come on. I'll ride back to the diner with you. Can I count on my assistance to help clean up? You bet, Mom. Did you hear that? That truck is running again because we helped. Yeah! Chuck, you better put the brakes on a little, old buddy. Oh, relax, Biggs. We're the best assistants ever. place of this one. Then my mom would never know I did anything wrong. Won't it look different from this one, Chuck? If it does, we'll paint it or whatever to make it look the same. Now, come on. Okay, Boomer, start the truck lift. Now use your ladders to sweep it into Rowdy's bed. Now let's get to the parts yard. <laughs> uh, it's your mom. She's coming back. She'll see the winch isn't here. <gasps> okay, helpful assistants. How did we do cleaning up the... Wow, Mom. Uh, helping you out sure made us hungry. Can we have some lunch? After all your hard work, you certainly deserve it. I'll run down to the diner and come back and get you when it's ready. See you in a few minutes. You heard her. We only have a few minutes. Let's go. Did anybody have any luck finding a winch? I sure didn't. I found some biscuits. I found a phone book. And, and I found a mattress. It's pretty comfy, actually. Uh, but no winch. If you put all this stuff together, it wouldn't add up to a winch. <laughs> That's it. What's it? Where's it? Maybe there's no winch in the parts yard, but there's got to be stuff here that when we put it together, can look like a winch. Chuck, maybe we should just tell your mom what happened. Boomer, we can still make this work, but we have to hurry. The way I figure it, we need three things. A metal box, a long metal arm, and a hook to hang from it. Come on! See anything that might help us? Anything at all? Like a long pole that could be used as a metal arm? Exactly! Something just like that! Woohoo! I dug found one! Great work, Biggs! But how are we gonna get it all the way out there? In all that mud and goop? <gasps> mud and goop! This looks like a job for Rowdy! Mud's too deep for me to roll out. Uh, how are we going to get Rowdy and the pole out of there? And fast. You're the guy who can help us build the answer, Boomer. Huh? I am? Rowdy, I know you like mud, but you can't stay in there.
there forever. <laughs> Great! Now we just need a hook and a metal box. Over there! Boomer, can you use your ladders to grab it? Uh, I'd be too nervous trying to grab something so far away. Look how that box is almost falling over. If I knocked it over, it, it could get dented. Then we couldn't use it. So how do we get to it? Hmm. We do it with the ends of your horns, Biggs. Boomer's ladders are too big for the job. But your horns are small enough to pick out all the parts around the box so we can get it. Go for it. That's it. This ain't so hard. Biggs, slow down. older and taller? It'd be easy if that were a normal hill. We could just roll up there and get it. But this pile would fall right over if we did that. But you guys won't fall over if I try to climb you. Huh? Guys, we need to find some wood planks so we can build a ramp. Biggs, I know I'm heavy. No sweat, buddy. I'm rough and tough. Good work, guys. Almost there. Okay, Boomer, lift me up. There. Please hurry and get that hook. Your mom will be back at the repair center soon. Okay. I'm just gonna nudge the pile so it falls into my bed. <laughs> I can't believe we got back here before your mom and Chuck. Hurry up and bring the winch in. How does it look? Well, it looks like a winch. Kinda, sorta, if you look at it in the right light and squint. Well, it's the best we could do. Let's get it in place. Who's hungry? I've got a great big lunch waiting for you boys back at the diner. Gee, <laughs> thanks, Mom. While you're eating, I think I'll clean up the new winch from this morning's repair. Let me just turn it on. <gasps> oh, no! How could this have happened? My brand new winch, I liked it so much. I broke your winch, Mom. You did? It was an accident. I was messing around and I didn't want you to know. Well, you know better than to mess around in here, Chuck. And I'm disappointed you didn't tell me right away. But the important thing is, you did tell me. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, honey. Now, where's my real winch? tell you everything right away. Mom, how can I make it up to you? Well, maybe you could help me with another repair? Yeah! Friends for the long haul! Since we want to keep the equipment neat, I think you better clean up first. Oh, <laughs> sure, Mom. When we come back in, we'll be spotless. And we'll be very careful. Let's go, guys! Me, Chuck? Especially you, Rowdy. Let's talk a Chuck, talk a Chuck, yeah. Talk a Chuck, yeah. It's Chuck and friends. He's not back there. Not under there either. 
probably out bouncing around imagining stuff, like usual. Huh? Hey! <laughs> some fender ball. Fender ball? What's fender ball? Only the best sport ever. After truck racing, that is. How do you play? One truck rolls the ball to another who bumps it as far as he can. Then the other trucks try to catch the ball and tag the bumper before he zooms around all the bases for a home run. Sounds fun! Let's play right now! Okay, but I have to warn you, I'm pretty good. Actually, I'm pretty great. Rally taught me everything he knows. Really? Yup. In fact, I'm probably going to be a star fender ball player and a champion truck racer when I get bigger. Well, maybe we can all be star fender ball players. Let's go! <laughs> Actually pretty great, huh, Chuck? <laughs> Uh, I just took my eye off it for a second. This next one's going to the moon. Are you sure you're rolling it right? <laughs> I'm just rolling him. If you miss this next one, that's strike three, and someone else gets to try. Good one, Chuck. That's going really far. Looks like I'm out. Okay, Biggs, you're up. I'm ready. Here's a fast one. Try to bump this. I've got it. <laughs> Great bump. Best bump I've ever seen. But then again, I've only played this game once. Hey, Chuck, nice try. If you were just a little bigger, you would have gotten me out for sure. Right. It's okay that you're better at Fender Ball than me. After all, you're bigger and older. Biggs is bigger, but Chuck, your birthday party was in the spring, and Biggs's isn't until the winter. See, that makes you older. You mean I'm older and smaller than you? Uh, it looks that way. Oh, hey guys, I have to go home for lunch. I'll see you later. Bye. Adios. See ya. I wish I was big like everyone else. Welcome home, son. You look bigger every time I see you. I guess I'm just a big guy, Mom. Hey, Chuck. Welcome back. You're huge! Check out the size of these tires. I can't wait until I'm really big like you, Chuck. <sighs> it's good to be big. <sighs> yeah, it's good to be big. And that's why I'm going to get big right now. <laughs> about you. Where have you been? <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Chuck, you may not be as big as a grown-up, but you sure can put on the speed. Well, I'm planning on getting fast and big right now. Uh, okay. And I know that between your cool tools and your awesome gadgets, we'll be able to figure out a way to make me bigger. Are you in? Sure. But I never thought of you as Big Chuck or Little Chuck in the first place. Yeah. To us, you're just Chuck. But if there's a way to make you big, we'll find it. Friends for the long haul! Does anyone have one? Well, I'm always taller when I put on my fat off-road tires. Look! Wow! Those are great! But I don't have fat off-road tires. And I don't see any here to use. How about if we just give your regular tires a lot more air? 
That will make you bigger for sure. Great idea. Pump him up, Handy. Hey, it's working. I'm bigger. <laughs> Take a spin. I can see everything. Look, I can almost touch the sun. I'm Chuck the Giant. Huh? Going over that rock made your tire's air cap pop off. All the air came out. It's okay, Chuck. The rest of your tires are still big. Keep going. You've still got one big tire. I think we need to refill my tires and find another idea. Hey guys, come here a minute. Notice anything? You're on top of a hill? I'm on top of a hill, which makes me bigger. This is the answer. Wherever I go, I'll always stay on top of a hill. That's a good idea, Chuck, but... I'll just need to drive behind Handy at all times. He can build a hill, and I'll stay on top of it. I can do my best. Let's try it out. Oh. How's the view from way up there? Great! Keep going, Handy. Are you okay? What happened? This is a good idea, but I think you need 100 of me to make it work. Maybe. And besides, I can't just dig up the ground everywhere I go. What if you have to go into the repair center? Or the diner? Or anywhere but here? I guess you're right. Just going to have to think of something else. I've got it! How about new extra shiny paint? The more you shine, the bigger you'll look. I don't want to look bigger. I want to be bigger. Let's keep thinking. I know. We can blow up a bunch of balloons and put you on top of them. You'll be big and cool looking. And poppable. There's got to be a way. Hey, it's a flyer for the circus that came through here last week. That's it! Are you sure you want to try this? If the clown truck in the picture can do it, then so can I. Okay, let's go! <laughs> no one said being big was going to be easy. It's working! Good job! Great going, Chuck! Chuck! Is that my dad? Chuck! It sounds like he needs me! <laughs> Mom? Dad? What's wrong? Biggs is stuck. He went inside to find a part, and now he can't get out. You're the only one who can fit in there and help him. I'm the only one who can help him? Going in. Migs? Over here, partner. I came in here looking for a chrome tailpipe, but soon as I got in, bam! The axle dropped behind me. And darn if I ain't too big to turn around and move it. Don't worry, I can do it. <laughs> Woohoo! You did it, big buddy! I'm not big. Well, you are to me right now, partner. Yay! We wouldn't have been able to get him out of there without your help. I guess it is good to be a little guy sometimes. But I still can't wait to get big. Don't worry, you're only little for now, and you're growing up fast. Too fast, if you ask me. Mom. I just think big or small. You're perfect the way you are. Hey, guys! Cats! <laughs> hey! Who's up for a game of Fender Ball? Hey. Great idea! Great idea! I love Fender Ball! <laughs>
think he won his race. Um, Chuck, I hate to interrupt your daydream, but someone's come to visit and he'd like to say hello. Huh? Hey, little brother. Rally! What are you doing here? Have you been winning your truck races? I've been practicing on our track. Have you been to some cool places? <laughs> Slow down, Chuck. I think you're faster than me. Going from race to race happened to bring me by here, and I thought I'd say hi. I even brought my racing pal, Flash. What's up, Adorable? Huh? He says hi. Don't worry, I speak Flash. We figured that since we were going to stop here anyway, we might have a practice race on the paved track to keep ourselves in shape. A race? You? Here? Awesome! I've never seen you race before. Really? I can't wait for you to meet my friends, especially Biggs. He's your number two fan, after me. Okay, okay. Flash, you stay here and fuel up, all right? I can't get over how big you're getting. I know. That says I'm bigger than you were at my age. I'm gonna be a racer, just like you. Oh, yeah? You think you got what it takes? I know I do. Andy? Boomer? Where did you fellers get to? Tag, you're it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, meet my brother, Ralph. Monster truck racer? I don't know about world famous, but... Howdy, howdy, howdy. My name's Biggs. I want to be just like you. Well, thanks. And these are Boomer and Handy. Hi. Hi. Chuck tells me all you guys like racing. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Looking good, boys. Chuck, nice turn there. Try to keep all your wheels on the ground. Biggs! Way to put on the speed! Hey. <laughs> Good one, Boomer! But they won't let you do that in a real race! Photo finish! It's a tie, boys! That means we gotta race again! I'm afraid I can't be the judge this time, guys. I gotta get back to the diner and rest up for tomorrow's race. I'll be there. Front row! We all will. And I can't wait to see you race, Rally! All right, guys. Bumpers up. Thanks for the long haul! <laughs> See you later. Chuck, I think Rally's even cooler than you always said he was. I think he's cooler than I always said he was. I think it's time to race on! <laughs> Did you get enough sleep? Is your motor all right? Are your spark plugs sparking? <laughs> Relax, little brother. I just want to make sure everything's perfect for your race today. Do you think the rain last night messed up the track at all? I'd have put it alone now. Flash is right, Chuck. The track is paved. Everything's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go get my friends. Don't be late, Chuck. Flash and I have to leave right after so we can get to our next race. We'll be there. Time to go to the race, Chuck? Time to see Rally run? It's time, and he told me not to be late, so we better get moving. Over, round, through. Trucks go and see you! I can't wait to see Rally do his one wheel spin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see his reverse swerve. I can't wait to see Rally do his no big zigzag. <laughs> I can't wait to see Rally do his double leap deluxe. Wahoo! <laughs> 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 Looks like last night's rain left a few mud puddles. <laughs> I guess so. Lucky thing a little mud never stopped a racing truck, right? <laughs> I think that's more than a little mud, Biggs. I think you're right. I can't get any traction in this slop. I'm stuck. Come on, Biggs, hurry. The race is gonna start any minute. I'm trying. I want to 
want to see that race as bad as you, Chuck. Okay, don't get your axle in a knot. We'll help you. Come on, Boomer, Candy, let's push. Okay, Biggs, give it another spin. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Chuck, you got any more ideas? I just might. All right, Biggs. If we can't push, I'll pull you out. And the guys will push me. Ready? I'm ready when you are. I could come up with a good plan to get you out. And I know it'll be a snap to get you out of that mud after the race, but it's gonna start any minute and... Hey, don't worry, partner. You go watch the race, then come back here and tell me all about how Rally did. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. We'll stay here, Chuck. Yeah, and keep Big's company. Okay, great. You guys are the best. Thanks so much. I'll come back right after the race. We're gonna see Rally race, finally! Thank goodness it wasn't me that got stuck in the mud. Poor Biggs, he really wanted to see this race. Actually, seeing the race won't be nearly as much fun without him there to watch it with me. Chuck, what are you doing back here? The race must be starting. I know. But I figured if we can take a little time now to get you out of there the right way, we can all make it to the track together and see most of the race. Chuck, you're the best pal a varmint like me could have. Hey, you're not out of there yet. Let's see. The problem is, is that your wheels have nothing to grab onto. So what you need is a track. Anything I've got, we can use. Can my hose help, Chuck? No, but I know how both of you can help build something to get Biggs out. Handy, can you feel under the mud for Biggs' tires? Sure. Oh, oh, hey, that tickles. Found him, Chuck. Great. Okay, Boomer, slide your ladders under the tires. I feel them. Ladders should work like tracks for you, Biggs. Give them a try. You two there. You're the fast ones. We'll save you seats. Chuck, I mean it, partner. Thanks. Hey, I know you would have done the same for me, pal, knowing how much we both want to see Rally race. The race must have started. Let's take a shortcut. Chuck, are you sure this is a shortcut? Sure. Uh, maybe. Look. There's a light up ahead. Chuck, glad you made it. But I didn't expect to see you down here with us. My shortcut really did get us to the racetrack. Yes! Come on and join us. Race with you? Really? Was that? I think it was. Wow. Race right along with Ralph. I dreamed about this, but I thought it would never happen. Me either. And it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't come back to help me, Chuck. Thanks again. No problem, Big. Turned out hoping you were so great for both of us. For parking space seven. Chugga, 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 chugga. Woo -hoo! Whoa, slow down there, engine Chuck. Chugga, chugga. Sorry, Dad. Chugga, chugga. Yeah. This is 
is the diner station. Diner station, thank you for riding the Chuck Express. Hmm. Now, how does a train get all the way out here with no tracks? You can ask a real one in just a second. I saw a train outside just now, pulling into the truck stop. Chuck, that's impossible. Well, then what's that? See? Hiya, Matt. Could you give me a little more fuel? Only got a few minutes before the next flight comes in at the airport. Airport? Why would a train be going to an airport? Huh? Ah, uh, no, little fella. I'm not a train. I'm a baggage carrier. You mean you work with real airplanes? <laughs> I sure do, champ. In fact, just today, I was loading suitcases, trunks, and duffel bags into the belly of the largest jumbo jet in the world. And I'll wow. tell you, just in time, too. You're cleared for takeoff. Roger, time to get on! Jumbo jet takes off. It sure is a sight to see, I'll tell ya. Oh boy, I can't wait to tell my buddies I met a real baggage carrier who works with real airplanes. Can I go play that? Sure, Chuck, but if you're still playing train, you need to watch where you're going. Oh, don't worry, Dad. I'm not playing train anymore. Ah, okay then. Now I'm playing Jumbo Jet. Gunter! Feel like building a pyramid for me? Hola, Chuck. What are you doing? Being an airplane. But right now, I'm waiting by the runway. Till the control tower clears me for takeoff. Cool. I'll be the tower operator. OK, Chuck, you're cleared for takeoff. Roger, tower. Awesome! We're coming up there with you! <laughs> Can you imagine if we could really fly through the air? How fun would that be? Oh, wow! I would zoom through clouds. Trucks on the ground would look like much smaller trucks. I'd fly up to the birds who always feed out of my trash bed. Wouldn't they be surprised? I'd never have to use a ramp to reach the top shelf in the kitchen. But trucks can't fly. Who says? Maybe we can. There's got to be a way. I need power and pickups. I bet if I can get enough speed, I can zoom up the track's ramp and take off into the sky. Stand back. I'm ready for takeoff. It wasn't really flying, amigo. It was more like falling. I just need to go even faster. I have a better idea. The best way to fly would be to spin something around really fast, just like a helicopter's propellers that spin around and lift it in the air. <laughs> Am I flying? I don't feel the ground against my tires. It must have worked. I'm flying. Huh? Oh. I don't think spinning is going to work, Digger. You see, you need wings to fly. But maybe we could build some wings out of spare parts. Just attach this to this, and, and that goes in there. There we are. This could definitely fly. <laughs> With a few adjustments, of course. Ah, uh, you're thinking too much as usual, Handy. All we need to do is fill something with air. Like this inner tube, and, and we can float up like a balloon. <laughs> How high'd I go? Not even an inch. I still think we need wings to fly. Nuh-uh, I'm telling you guys, spinning around will work. No, floating up like a balloon. Look, guys, it sounds like we just disagree. So why don't we come up with our own ideas? One of them is bound to work. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Good thinking. After all, four ideas are better than one. There we go. These mattresses will help in case I have a rough landing. Pilot to tower. Ready for takeoff. Digger, look out! Whoa. 
Whoa, that was close. Hola, Chuck. Why are you moving around like that? I'm not moving, Digger. You just got dizzy from whirling around. Oh. Nina, look! A real propeller! That's what I need to fly! Here we are, a perfect set of wings. And away we go! Yeah. Oops! <laughs> I forgot to fasten the wings on. Now, where are those bolts? I just had them. Sure was lucky to find these bolts! <laughs> oh. Where are those bolts? They must have rolled off here somewhere. Oops! Sorry, Rowdy. I didn't see... Wait a minute. Are those my bolts? Just a few more feet! And there's my propeller! Huh? Oh, no. I'm stuck! Help! Andy! Rowdy! Chuck! Don't worry, Digger. We're coming to get you. can climb a hill this steep without treads in our tires like Digger's. You're right, but Digger really needs our help. Amigos, what's the hold up? Well, it's a good thing we've been learning to fly. We can just soar on up there and set Digger free. Did you figure out a way to fly, Rowdy? I got really close. Uh, but, um, no. Oh, how about you, Handy? Not exactly, but if I know you, Chuck, you can fly sky high by now. Nope. Not even bumper high. I guess four ideas weren't enough. Or maybe four ideas were too many. Instead of four ideas, we need one big idea. In fact, Red Hot Turbo Chargers, I have a great idea. Rowdy, we're going to need that rope you've been using. Handy, can you turn those wings into a platform? And those bolts. We can use those, too. They say that trucks can't fly. But there's no reason why. A truck can't aim real high. And soar up to the sky. Let's work together. We'll all team up. That's how you fly. That's how you fly. Start pulling. Tower to pilot, you're clear for takeoff. Are you ready? Roger. No, no, I'm, I'm Rowdy. <laughs> when the control tower talks to a plane, Roger means yes. Go ahead, Rowdy. Roger, Chuck. <laughs> Glad to see you, amigo. Wouldn't let you down, Digger. Well, it's a shame none of us could figure out how to fly. That's not exactly true, Digger. When we worked separately, we couldn't figure it out. But when we worked together, we did figure out how to fly. And we used my wings. And my balloons. And my... Getting stuck up at the top of the hill? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Digger. If it weren't for you, we might never have figured out that we needed to work together. Okay, Chuck, hang on for your next flight. Ready? Roger. No, Rowdy. <laughs> never mind. Pull me up. <laughs> 